Hello my lovely little friends, today I'm going to do a little bit of a decluttering of my eyeshadows. This is not a full declutter of my whole collection or anything. I kind of just wanted to do a bit of a smaller declutter, looking at some of my single shadows. A couple like pots, a couple of palettes I want to get rid of but maybe depot a shadow or two from them. So if you're interested in seeing that, then keep watching. So I think I'll start first with a couple of the little pot shadows I want to get rid of. So the first one is this Revolution. I think they used to be called Awesome Metals and then they rebranded them to Flawless Foils or something, but this one is the shade Retreat. I absolutely love khaki greens and this is beautiful. It gives a really wet look on the eye, but this one has kind of gotten a bit dry, like you can still get the color off it and stuff, but I used it not long ago and it's just, it's drying out and it's not as nice as it was. And I have a lot of other khaki shadows, so I really don't need this one anymore. This is going in the bin. FYI, here is a little swatch of that one. I got some feedback that you guys would kind of like a bit more swatching in these kind of videos, so I will try to do that from now on. The next single pot I'm decluttering is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the Ultra Glitter formula. This is the shade Twitter Pated, which I had to Google the word Twitter Pated because I'd never heard it before and I thought it was a made up word, and apparently it's not. Apparently it was from the movie Bambi, which is quite an old movie and I never saw it. So I'd never heard that term before. So I have just kind of realized I don't like the ColourPop Ultra Glitter Super Shock Shadow formula. Like, this looks pretty, right? It is pretty, but my issue with the Ultra Glitters is they're so, like, sheer. I absolutely love their Ultra Metallic Super Shock Shadows. They're very punchy, opaque. I freaking love them, but... These ultra glitters, like, I know a lot of people say you should use these as toppers, but I can't be fucked. Really just not my thing. I do not dig this formula, so I'm going to get rid of this one. And the last single pot shadow I'm decluttering for now is one of the ColourPop Jelly Mutt shadows in the shade Doves and Roses. I also have a look up with this on my Instagram, or maybe I'll just chuck it up on the screen now if I can be bothered. But, uh, like... I'm conflicted with the Jelly Match shadows because they are pretty, but half the ones I've had do dry out quickly, or sometimes they even come half already dried out. Oh my god, this one is dried out. Oh my god, what the fuck? This one is dried out. It's so hard. Oh man, I wasn't even decluttering it for that reason. I just don't like it, but this one has also dried out. Like, it would definitely be usable. And I know you can add a, like, mixing medium to make these nice again. And it is still pretty, but... Man, if they dry out, it kind of defeats the purpose of it being a jelly shadow. Like, you know what I mean? I'd rather just use a normal shadow then. Like, I would never be fucked to add a mixing medium to this when I could just use a normal shadow. So... That's another reason I'm decluttering this then, because it's dried out. But the reason I had this in my declutter pile was that I wore this in a look and I just wasn't that impressed by this shade. It, like, I don't know. It's the usual kind of pinky goldy shade that I would like, but this specific shadow I just wasn't that impressed with. So getting rid of this one, especially because now I know it's fucking dried out. FYI, I do like some of the Jelly Mutt shadows a lot, but I would never repurchase them at this point. Like... This formula is inferior, in my opinion. Like, I'm not buying more of these things that just fucking dry out. I haven't even had this one for that long, so would not recommend the Jelly Mutt Shadows. Okay, guys, so because that Doves and Roses one is dried out, I decided to check my other Jelly Mutt Shadows just out of curiosity, because I haven't touched them in a while. And three out of the four ones I have have dried out. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck? I'm never buying these again because these cost about $11.60 Australian each. So that's like $40 there and $30 has gone to shit because these have dried out. And if they're dry, like, yes, you can still use these. They're usable. You can still get payoff, etc. But you are buying a jelly shadow for the gimmick of it being like a jelly, right? So you can have a really cool texture, unique kind of shadow to use. And these three have dried out and it defeats the purpose of that. Like, I don't know if you can tell just looking at them how dry they look. Like, 
these are the three that have dried out and this one is what it should look like and even this one I can tell is starting to dry out it doesn't look as like melty as it did when I got it and uh, what the hell like I'm really disappointed in this I didn't even realize the other ones had dried out these two I've had about eight months I've used this one once I hadn't even used this one yet these two I've had for 10 months and I've used this one the most, which is ironic that this one is not dried out and these ones are. I wonder if it's more to do with the little lids that come in it or something, because I know you might say maybe you didn't close these tight enough, which I mean, it could be true, but FYI, I'm, I'm very OCD about closing things properly to the point where you know, with taps, I've often had complaints from my family when I lived at home that I turned taps off too tight because that's the kind of OCD I am with like closing things very tightly so I can't believe that these would have dried out because I didn't close them tight enough I think the formula is just not that sustainable which is a bit disappointing and yes these are still usable but like I said before you get a jelly shadow for the gimmick of jelly and I'll show you some swatches so you can see the difference what I mean it's definitely workable but you can see how crumbly that is like, it just feels like crap. That one actually swatches okay. This one still swatches okay. It's less dry than the Doves and Roses one. This one is the shade Spindle from the Villains Collection. Oh my god, this one definitely feels a lot drier than the others. This one is the shade... Oh shit. This one is the shade Into Focus, which is definitely a shame because this was... These two are my favourite. Like, I really love this bright green. But, uh, like, look at the clumpiness. Like, it just swatches like crap now. Uh, like, they still look pretty. I know someone's going to comment and be like, me, 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 you can still use them, whatever, me, me, me. But I will show you the difference in how a the proper jelly should shadow. Look at that. Look at that. It moves. It's an actual jelly. And this one is already starting to dry out. It was more movable than this before. Look how that swatches. Like, can you see the difference? That one is just so much more smoother and vibrant. And yes, it is already a bit clumpy because it has started to dry out already. But can you see the difference? Someone's still going to complain like, get over it, me, me, me. But you're buying a Jelly Mutt Shadow. They should stay performing like this, if not better, like how it was when I got it. Not within eight months going to shit. Like... That's really disappointing to me. <laughs> so considering this, I'm gonna keep Origami because it's still working fine. I'm going to keep this shade Spindle even though it's mostly dry because I haven't even used this one. Like I know it's stupid, I have too much makeup obviously, that's why I'm decluttering, but I haven't used this one and I'm still going to use it at least once in a look just to test it because I wanna try it at least once before getting rid of it, it's so stupid. This one's going obviously and I'm torn about this one because I love this color so much and I don't think I actually have this like exact shade of green like, duped in anything else so that makes me really sad but I think I'm just gonna have to declutter this one because it's dried out like look how shit it looks I'm not motivated enough to add a mixing medium and fuck around even more with this than like, using the jelly shadow in the first place is already a bit of a fuck around. I'm not going to fuck around adding a mixing medium as well just to get this to work how it should in the first place. So that's really disappointing. I'm going to have to get rid of this shade as well. Luckily, I found a dupe in my collection of this color. Well, it's not the exact same shade, but it's pretty darn freaking close. So this is from the Certify. Oh my god, I have a macro lens. It's hard to show big things on this. This is a shade from the Certify Affinity 2 palette. The shade is called Bilal. I swatched them here and Bilal is the top shade and this one is the Jelly Much shadow. Like obviously the Jelly Much one is a bit more shiny but like I don't care. It's close enough. I'm just going to keep that one and get rid of this one because it's gone to shit. I figured we'd take a look at some of my single shadows. First of all, I just wanted to show you guys that I decided to depot my little Frozen 2 Colourpop palette. I won this in a giveaway by Maddie's Makeup Mess on Instagram. I'll put a little picture up of her page. She's a great girl. I love her page. I won this awesome giveaway from her and I do love this palette, but I kind of hate 
frozen and although this packaging is cute I um, don't really like frozen so I wasn't keen on the packaging itself but I do actually love the color story of this palette this is it here so I just decided to depot it there these shadows are really nice in my opinion the ones I've used and this silver shade here called ice crystals that's probably the most beautiful silver shadow I have ever used it is so creamy and opaque it's absolutely beautiful like look at that that is true beauty I love that that shadow is just oh, it's amazing but I do really like this palette but I wasn't a fan of this packaging so I'm getting rid of this packaging and just keeping the shadows and by the way Colourpop's shadows are really easy to depot because at least all the Colourpop shadows I have do have magnetic bases so if you have a magnet I keep my magnets that I use for depotting in a little tissue just so they don't damage the shadow and I have the little name of the shadow on the back there I just wrote that but there you go easy depotting I freaking love that Colourpop does that it makes my life easier thank you Colourpop I wish every brand had magnetized shadows <laughs> Anyway, the reason I wanted to show you guys that one was first because I'm decluttering the packaging of that, but because I was looking in my It's My Pleasure palette before from Colourpop, which I love this palette, but I opened this before just to compare a shade and I cleaned this palette up now, but this pretty crawl shade, like you can see all the chunks in there that have come out. I smooshed it down, but it was like half shattered and I had all this powder all over my palette like why it just broke I don't know why I can already tell it's just gonna keep shattering in there and keep making the palette dirty and ugly looking so I actually decided to declutter this shadow and the great thing like I said about the Colourpop palettes is because the shades from the Elsa palette are the same size what I'm going to do is depot this shadow and I'm actually going to pop the shade Awakened from the Frozen palette in here just because it's quite a similar tone and I actually think the bluish shift, glitter shift in this matches this palette more than that basic transition shade. Goodbye little crappy broken shadow. Oh, so satisfying. Out of the rest of these shadows, I think I'm going to get rid of some of these glitters because I've just realized lately I don't really like glitter. I never freaking use it. I use it occasionally and usually I end up feeling irritated about it because it gets everywhere. It's hard to use. I hate taking it off the eye and worrying about, you know, eye safety and stuff like that. So it's going to be a very rare occasion that I wear glitter. So really, why do I need so many freaking glitters so I turn the brightness down on my ring light so you can hopefully see the shifts in these shades down the bottom like these are all revolution glitters and I'm gonna keep these three down the bottom actually this one is a Colourpop one this is Hungry Ghost I think this is one of the coolest glitters I've seen like look at those cool shifts oh my god so cool I'm going to get rid of this one because it does have some cool shifts in it but I'm just I'm just not going to use this. It's very multi-dimensional. Like it looks cool, but I'm I'm just freaking not going to use this. This one has to go. It is the shade Fame from their Glisten Up Singles Pack from Revolution Pro. Now I'm going to hate myself for swatching that glitter because now I'm going to have glitter everywhere for like three days. Holy shit! <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? I think I'm also going to get rid of this green one. It is beautiful. This is the shade Glare from one of their Revolutions glitter packs again. I'm trying to also discourage myself from using glitter because um, I hope brands do move towards using biodegradable glitter because, you know, all that stuff. I just, I don't use glitter. I don't need this. Like, it needs to go. Right, do I need a fucking gold glitter? Do I? I remember I tried to declutter this one last time and then I kept it. This is the shade Beacon. Do I need a garish yellow gold glitter? Do I? Am I gonna use this? No. Okay, this one has to go too. Yeah, I think I'm okay with keeping the rest of these glitters for the moment. Same with this glitter that came in the Colbot Frozen Elsa palette. I'll chuck the brightness down again so you can see the cool shifts in this as well. But I'm gonna keep that one as well. 
I'm just gonna show you the situation that just occurred. So the two big glitter pans I had in this, I was trying to move them around in the palette and I forgot they're not magnetized. I had them stuck on with blue tack. And as I did that, they kind of both flung out of the palette, which is um great. If you look at that one down there, wow, wow. I really did that. Look at it. Look how sad it is down there. I don't think that can be saved, guys. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. It's going to be all over my carpet. Shit. Shit. <gasps> no. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to vacuum straight after this and try to save that atrocity from this glitter remaining in my carpet. Oh, my God. Why is this my life? So I attempted to pick that up from the carpet, but I think maybe you guys can agree that I should throw this in the bin because obviously I wasn't meant to keep these two shadows. They both just committed suicide. I don't think I can save that. But while I'm here, I'll show you a swatch. <laughs> I don't even see the cool shift in this when it's on the eye, to be honest, anyway. Like, I can't even show it on my hand. It's mostly, it mostly looks green when you have it on the eye. It's really hard to show, but honestly, it didn't look that great on the eye anyway. It needs to go in the bin. It's just killed itself in front of me. That one's going. Let's see how the other one went. So this one... This one also came out of the pan, but at least it flopped out of the pan, like, consistently. You know, I can probably smoosh this back in and keep it, but should I keep it? Hopefully you can see the lime green shift this has. But honestly, I think this probably would look shit on the eye as well. I can't remember if I've used it on the eye or not. Like, it does look cool. The world was just telling me that these needed to go in the bin. And, and that's why they both threw themselves on the carpet. I think I'm just gonna have to accept fate and declutter both these freaking glitters. Fuck these glitters. They can get fucked. Off you go out of my life. So yeah, I'm just keeping these four glitters now because fuck that. <laughs> Oh God. And here is another one. I love this magnetic palette. It's so beautiful. These are a bunch of other single shadows. I don't think I'm going to get rid of any of these shadows for now. But yeah, FYI, this is one of my other single shadows palettes. These are all from a bunch of brands, so I don't know. If you want to know what one specific one is, just let me know which one it is and I will let you know. But just for these weird square looking ones, that one was from a Too Faced palette. These other little square ones are all depotted from Makeup Revolution palette because I have depotted a million Makeup Revolution palettes. And this is my last palette of single individual pan shadows. FYI, I'm not decluttering any of these yet because I haven't used most of these shadows, to be honest, and I obviously want to try them all before decluttering any of them, but I'll quickly point out a few of my favorites in case you're interested. This shadow is a lovely khaki green matte from Colourpop called Team Captain. This shadow is absolutely beautiful. This is another one of my favorites. It's a classic beautiful shimmer from Colourpop. It's called Golden Egg. I think they discontinued this one and it's such a shame because it's absolutely beautiful. Like, I know it looks like a basic champagne shimmer, but oh, man, hang on. I'll turn the brightness down so you can see the shift. Oh, you can kind of see the shift there. Can you see it? This shadow is freaking beautiful. Oh, you can kind of see it. You can kind of see the shift. With the brightness off, up, you can't see any of the shift. But FYI, there is a shift. I absolutely love this shadow. I really hope Colourpop brings it back. I don't know why they discontinued it. I mean, it might be up there now, but last time I looked, they did not have that anymore. But <laughs> I fucking love it. I'm not decluttering any of these ones. These are all from a bunch of different brands. So again, if you like the look of one specific one, uh, let me know in the comments and I will let you know what shade and brand it is from. These are the last things I am decluttering. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know I have a love-hate relationship with Revolution. I used to be a major Revolution fangirl. I love them. I still like the brand, but I mostly like their face products. I have always kind of not been a fan of their eyeshadow formula. I still do not like it to this day. 
I just really am not a fan of their eyeshadows. They're just not that fantastic. To be honest, I think their best eyeshadows are their collab palettes mostly, which is why these are the only two Revolution palettes I have left at the moment. I think the first Soph collab palette is my favorite eyeshadow palette from Revolution in terms of quality. Just looking at it now, I remember that I used to one look with this palette and that was it. And I never used the rest of it. Like all these brown shades, like I don't need 7,000 billion of these brown shades when I have them in other palettes in much better formulas that I will reach for and never reach for these. Most of these shimmers are pretty average quality in my opinion. The mattes are okay, definitely workable, not my favorite, but the look I used to do with this palette all the time was browns in the crease and this lovely green shimmer here. This shimmer is the shade Pine Tree and it is probably my favorite Revolution eyeshadow. Oh my god. Look at that beauty. Look at it. I'm obsessed with khaki green shadows and this is probably the most greenish tinged khaki I have in my collection. And I just, I love it. That is beautiful. See, when Revolution does good shimmers, they do fucking good shimmers. Like, it is beautiful. I do love Revolution's shimmer formula when they do it nice and metallic like this. But when they do crappy shimmer formulas like this one, ugh, I mean, it's that one's actually okay. It's not the best, but there's a crap one in here. I can't remember the crap ones. I mean, they're not that bad. The shimmers aren't that bad in this palette, actually. But if you've used a lot of Revolution shadows, you know they have a lot of crappy shimmer formulas. But this freaking beautiful pine tree shade, oh, I love it. I love it so much. So basically, I don't use 98% of this palette, so I've decided to declutter it. I did some shade dupe matching through my collection as... I like this shade, but I have it in other palettes. I don't need this. I also thought this purple shade was one of the more unique shades in the palette, so I was worried about decluttering this, but I was comparing it to shadows in my collection to try and find a dupe, and it's a pretty close match for the ColourPop. It's my pleasure, the shade Bare Minimum. I'll show you a swatch comparison. So this one's the Revolution one. It's an okay shimmer. This one is Bare Minimum. Bare minimum kind of swatches shitty, but it looks really beautiful on the eye. So these shades look a bit closer in tone in real life than they're appearing on camera, but in any case, they're close enough for me to be dupes, and this, the Colourpop one, is more multi-dimensional and pretty, so I feel okay with decluttering this purple shade, the only other shade in this palette that I want to keep, besides Pine Tree, because I fucking love it, I'm obsessed with it. I think I'm going to keep this bluey red shift shade as well, or I will attempt to depot it, just because it's a bit more of a unique shade. Even though it looks kind of gross on camera, it's one of the classic, like, um, rust red bluey shift kind of shades. Something I've always had a ton of questions about on my Instagram is, how do you depot Revolution shadows? because I have depotted a crap ton of Revolution shadows. I decluttered most of those shadows that I depotted. So I only have, I don't know, a handful of them left now, but I have depotted many Revolution palettes over the years. I think a lot of people also want to do the same thing, but Revolution palettes are ridiculously hard to depot because none of them have magnetic pans. All of them are glued in and they are in this shitty plastic packaging. Basically, they are very hard to depot. <laughs> I kind of have a process for depotting these kind of palettes. Basically, what you want to do is you need to get this insert part where this gap is outside of this outside encasing. And how I usually do that is by first twisting the palette like this until you can get it to kind of pop out. Now, I don't think I'm, I don't know if I can show this on camera because it's too hard to do while I have a camera in front of my face. <laughs> um, I'll try. Ooh. This is not a easy process, by the way. It is a very messy kind of process. So my usual process of bending this until this pops out was not working, so I instead used one of my little panning tools to shove down the side of this so I can lift... Oh, that's also what you want to hear, but 
Keep in mind this isn't the most safe thing. Don't do this basically unless you're very careful and confident that you can do this without hurting yourself. And there you go, you've got the insert out of the freaking outer packaging. And then one technique to try and depot them further is to snap them. This only works if you don't care about specific shades being broken. I, like literally, that is an easy way for I could have kept any of these shades because I've got them loose and I've popped them out. See, that's perfect, but what usually happens is the shades I don't want come out perfect and the shades I do want don't. But FYI, that's one way you can get those shades out, but I don't even want those shades, so FYI, this is messy. Don't do this if you don't like mess or possible danger or anything. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh, man. I think I might have got them. I just got eyeshadow all over my carpet. Oh, fuck. I usually do this in my kitchen, but I'm trying to show you guys my process because I get asked about this so much on Instagram. And I didn't even have to do this using my more dangerous method, so be happy about that. I don't even have to tell you guys. That's, that's freaking awesome. Because what you want is to be able to get leverage to pop that shade out without distorting the pan itself or anything. I'm so happy that one came out perfect. I'm so freaking happy with that. Holy shit. It doesn't always work. Sometimes I break the shade I want and then I just accept that I wasn't meant to have that revolution shadow and it probably wasn't even that good to begin with, so whatever. Um, I would recommend getting one of these depotting tools. They come in very handy. I just got this off eBay. I think it was a couple dollars. It's fucking amazing. Okay. And there we have that one. Oh my gosh. I know that's messy and you're all probably judging me right now, but this is the reality of like one of the only ways to depart specific revolution shadows and it is messy, but FYI if everyone asking, that is how I depart revolution shadows. I'm so happy these two came out perfectly and I didn't break them. Keeping these two shades and the rest of this obviously has to go in the bin. The last thing I'm going to declutter in this video is the first collab palette Temi did with Revolution, which is the Tropical Paradise palette. I did use this one quite a few times, except similar with the Soph palette. I always did the same one look with this palette, which is basically using, using these mattes and this shimmer here. Oh, I used to love this shimmer, except like, it's actually pretty shit. <laughs> Like, look at it. I used to like how it looked on the eye, but in reality, it's a crappy shimmer. Like, oh my god, it's garbage. It's garbage. I had planned to possibly depot that shadow just because I did used to love this one. I used this one many times. Um, I did like these mattes, but I never really used the rest of the palette, and I'm not really inspired to because from what I remember, the mattes I did try, like all the neutral browns, for example, like every other Revolution palette, I don't really like their matte formula that much and most of the shimmers are pretty average. I'll do some swatches just for fun. I mean, they're not horrible, they're just like, I don't know, oh, that green's pretty decent. Um, yeah, I don't know, they're okay. I just... I don't use this palette. I had planned to try and make myself use my last Revolution palettes for looks and I just, I just don't want to. I just don't like Revolution shadows and that's okay. I know a lot of people love them. That's fine. I'm really glad you enjoy them. I personally don't like them that much and I don't have to force myself to keep something or to use it for any reason basically. So I don't have to keep this. I finally accepted I don't have to keep my Revolution palettes. Like when I was first using this palette a lot, it was also when I was first getting into makeup kind of, and I hadn't used a lot of eyeshadow to be honest. So although I did like these ones and they are workable, I'm, I just, I don't need this. I don't need to depot that shadow. I don't need any of these shades. I don't need this. And now I don't have to go through the hassle of depotting that one shade. So yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of this entire palette.
So these are all the shadows I've decluttered for this little declutter. I know it's not a ton, but I hope you guys liked this anyway. Let me know if you like this concept of just doing a little bit at a time rather than those huge declutters. I kind of like this approach. Let me know if you like it, if you don't mind that there's... I'm not decluttering a billion things in one declutter. I mean, there's still a decent amount here, to be honest. I've decluttered two palettes and 10 individual shadows, so I'm pretty happy with that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you would like to see more parts to this little eyeshadow declutter series where I only do a little bunch at a time when I've collected a bit of shadows to get rid of. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a nice day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!